Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Today, today is going to be a big day for me and for you guys too because you will get to see what's going on with my gameplay. Now, before we go in, I just wanted to cover a few things off. So, we're going to be exploring an area that I haven't explored yet. So, I haven't told you exactly what I'm going to do yet. Don't know which zone it's going to be. But before we go and break that news, you probably would have already guessed it by the name and possibly the thumbnail. But I want to give you guys a quick tour of my base because I've been super busy and I also lost my satchel bag again. So as a result in um, farming and doing crazy, crazy things, I have yet sort of lost my um, my satchel bag. So I'm back to the normal basic one that everyone can get. So I will be able to get my next one quite, easy, quite easily actually. So I'm not that far away in doing so. But right now, let's have a quick overview of my base. So this is it right now. So we'll start over here. As you can see, I'm actually upgrading the forge at the minute. So that's all happening. But this is what I've sort of going to be settling on. Now there's a couple of little modifications that I still need to do. So the biggest one notably is I need to get the berth into the corner over here and I need to actually place it on some better um, ground before I can do so. So I wanted to push that over beforehand. So what happened was, what I've realized is when I initially uh, placed the berth, you only needed the level one floor. Now that you completed the first stage of the birth, it requires level two, so it needs pine. So that needs to happen over here. So I need to make a three by three over here of that, so I can drop that over there. And then what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to expand this by an extra row. I'm going to move where the dovecote is and this little chest here in the corner, that's gonna be deleted and squared off. So I've got three on this uh, spaces on the side and obviously three on this side. So I will evidently get more space across the board there. That's gonna be sort of the basis of my base, the layout that I want to you know set it up with. And it will give me enough space. So if anything else in the game um, comes in, I'll still be able to accommodate that. And I've also got space all around here, just the same. So look, it's not that bad, not that bad at all. Um, so it is looking good. I am sort of considering possibly moving this wall forward a little bit more, only because so I can put some spikes and things like that around uh, the perimeter of this because I've got the slipway in the way. That might be the only other thing I'll be looking at doing potentially, but that's pretty much where I'm at with things and what I've done so far. So it's all sort of coming together. It's all getting there. I just wanted to sort of square it off and make it a little bit nicer. Um, that's pretty much it. And for everything else here, I've just been sort of upgrading a little bit uh, here and there as well. So I've got the ability to come over here and I can now craft the sturdy leather and the cotton rope. So that's happening. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I really want to upgrade this. Now I'm nearly there, I just need a little bit more sandstone and I'm good to go with the workshop. So throughout the week I'll be doing a lot of upgrading and I'm nearly not that far away in making the canvas bag again. So that's where I'm at. But this will be the next um, uh, workbench that I will focus my attention on to upgrade because I want to get to the cotton and fabric rolls respectively. And over here, I've got the ability to make the sandstone block as well, so that was upgraded and of course I was able to upgrade uh, to level 3 so I can do the walnut uh, boards there. And I think from here I probably want to upgrade this, but I do want to get my hands on, uh, let's bring it up, actually, no, let's go to the workshops, I do want to get the gun workbench um, down and obviously the kitchen down. So they're the next two projects that I want to focus on once I upgrade the other two that I need to because this will enable me to do so. So that's basically where that's at for the minute. But the main reason why you guys have come today is we're going to complete the slipway. So we're going to get that all ready to go today. Um, I want to grab a few things with me as well because I know I'm going to need them. Um, we're going to grab that. And what else do I need from here? I need the Rolox. I need the compass, so the 
spyglass sorry the compass is this fella and i need the ore i think that's everything that i need i've got a ton of these things as well i've got a, a, a few bits and pieces here oh, i'm hoping that we can actually um reuse them and recycle them in some sort of way so that's what i'm hoping on so i'm going to hang on to them and i will still continue to do the um the dead man's chest event as well just in case because the only reason why is i'm looking at this in particular the spyglass because it's got the indispensable optical tool the compass not so much but this and only because you need lenses for the lighthouse so the lighthouse is down south now i don't think we'll be able to get in, the, in uh, sorry into that area with the slipway it's only going to be predominantly for the northern zones for now and then eventually once the game opens up a little bit more we'll be able to go down south and i will i would imagine at some point we could um either a recycle say the spy glasses for example get the lenses and extract them out of there so what i'm thinking is probably like a like a recycle bench or something or rather like a junk bench that you can sort of take things apart um, and that way that will allow us to extract those lenses and give us the ability to complete the um, lighthouse so that's what I'm thinking about that so let me know in the comments what do you guys think about that do you think that would be the case do you think it could be something completely different let me know so I'm just gonna grab a few things before we go ahead because I really don't know exactly what's going to be um, thrown at us in this video so right now as you can see I've pretty much got everything to go I just need the bronze fasteners I think they are well yeah sorry the copper not the bronze the copper all right here we go so they'll go in first I'll get that in I'll get that in get that in and these guys were an absolute pain to find there we go the slipway has been built rowing is now available to you new territories are also on the global map finally there we go so that's what it looks like once it's completed the shell exterior has now become a proper proper looking thing looks all right I'm just going to go ahead and quickly drop off the fasteners and let's get to it so the currency for the slipway is tar so we're going to need to use tar to get from one place to another and all that all those things in between now if it's anything like westland we may be able to cheat the system a little bit and try and get to places by using minimal tar. But if you want to activate it or anything like that, or you start using that predominantly with the tar, you need to hit the repair button. It's going to add 25 to the boat and that gives you the ability to use it. And we've got four extra spots here for additional storage, which is great. Now, I wonder if you don't have to use the boat itself if it comes with you even though if you don't use the tar that's what i'm hoping but now that we've got the little logo up here it's available to us there so we should be able to row all the way up here i'm going to test the theory though so let's use the row and i'm hoping the boat is going to get to us there as well well the boat will come with us if that's the case then we can always get by with energy because tar right now is not readily available. It's not easy to come by. Probably one of the best ways for you to get tar will be going over to the temple, which I do still want to make a video on that soon. It will happen, but I couldn't uh, not do this video before I do the temple. So this is why I want to do this first. So let's enter the shallow, shallow waters. This is our, like our snowy pass blockage in Westland so there's things that we're going to need to do to get ourselves from where we are to unlock the northern zone as you can see we've got a fella over here not done so well at the moment but we're just going to grab whatever he has on him and we're going to get our way through he's actually got some pretty good weapons as well wow he's got a machete that's actually a decent weapon not bad at all my friend full copper knife no problem the bronze fasteners we're definitely going to take that with us 
the food I will take, um, the scraps and things like that. I don't want to probably take that with me right now. The water I'm going to take with me for now. And that is that. So the boat did come with us, which is good. So you don't really have to use your tar predominantly, unless if you've obviously um, have uh, lost all of your energy and you ran out of all the ad skipping and things like that. That would probably be the only time that you'd want to do that if you still need to complete any sort of tasks. But it is what it is. All right, so let's have a look here. I just want to see what we get ourselves here. So we've got some pretty neat little things coming our way, which is good. I'm going to leave that there for now because I know you can sort of come back to it. And okay. Is there something there? Oh, okay. This is just the, okay. That's cool. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to pl plant some explosives. Let's run away real quickly. There we go. We've got accessibility to this fella over here now. So, you, so anyway, you need bombs to open up. Ooh, some things I've never gotten before. Very good. I'll leave the copper there because we don't really need that and I know I can get that quite easily. So some pretty cool things coming our way. Let's have a look what's in here. Ooh, nice. Okay, good. I'm glad that I'm actually opening up all these before we get going. And I'm sure that you can come back to these things at any stage and just sort of pick these things up. But, and you actually get some uh, limestone out of it. Well, that's nice. So every time that you break apart a, um, a bit of coral, whatever it is, you do get some things come back, uh, sorry, come back to, which is great. That's awesome. Let's keep those fasteners because I, I know I'll probably need them for something. So that's all good. Got a good weapon here at the minute. Did I take any other weapons with me? I actually didn't. Wow. Well, that's really under um, underprepared for myself. So I'm glad that I have that with me. It actually, ha I think I've got another one of these bad boys in my inventory, maybe. Yes, I do. Good. Okay. So just in case, if I need it, I've got it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's keep going. So two more bombs and we can get going to unlocking the north finally i want to take this bone knife with me because i'm sure it'll come in handy and i'll leave that there for now i think this is one of these zones that don't reset as it is so i'm pretty sure that i can come back to it at any stage all right so let's just go back a little bit boom and i will break apart this so you need about three bombs and I had the three bombs because I was able to get them through the trader. But as you can see, now I don't know when this all came through. I'm not too sure if you guys got any of these, but I've got a few bombs here coming to my inventory. Now, I'm not too sure where they come from, where they all, that was part of a um, part of the uh, developers giving us some, uh, some goodies, things like that. I'm not too sure. I didn't get any confirmation from the devs. Um, that they will be sending me anything so that I cannot confirm uh, but if they did that on their own free will thank you very much developers much appreciated either way so that's all there this gives us the ability now to go forth and head over to the north so let's finally do it there we go so now once you've done this part here, you shouldn't have to come through this little medium. You can just immediately go up to the top there and that allows you to jump into the north. So there's a few places that we've got here in front of us. So we've got the Islander tribe. Now we don't know what that's all about just yet. So I think I make, might want to make a first pit stop over there. We've got a couple of unexplored islands, which you can see here, which we cannot unfortunately get into. Same thing with the Pirates Camp, unfortunately. What we do have is the Mountain Island, which gives us uh, the sandstone, and I'm not too sure if that's um, shale or basalt, but I think that looks like shale, because if I go back over here, it looks exactly the same. Okay, so the icons match up. The Rocky Island, this is where I want to spend most of my time in. As with the Mountain Island just over here, 
you do have the same metal resources so there's tin and copper so tin is available up north here this allows you to farm those areas i can also dispatch any one of these guys as well which i think i might even do so let's go okay and he's going to go over there he's going to take some time however long that might be but he's going to go over there and then give us a hand and finally we've got the fire island here so it looks like it's got the um, mahogany if i'm not mistaken possibly or has it just got more of the walnut i think it's got more of the walnut it's got more of the walnut my bad guys so you've got that there anyway so that's a brief overview of the next few zones five of which are accessible or sorry four of which are accessible and the three over here are not just yet so we're still waiting for more release and all and all that sort of good stuff to come through to the game i guess the most important release that everyone is waiting on is more predominantly is the global release now my understanding with that is global release should hopefully come our way hopefully next month in the month of august so that should be the end of summer for a lot of uh, the region. So I'm guessing that's more towards due to the US side of things. I'm not too sure about any other regions and continents, but that's where I've been told that it should hopefully happen. Now that's always subject to change only because there'll be things that may prevent it from happening. So development, they might run into some major issues some bugs, things like that, that may delay it and push it back. There's no confirmed date if all goes well in the month of August. So we're gonna to have to sit tight and find um, and sort of wait until then once that all comes true. But just a quick update on that for you guys. So at least this way, you guys are well aware of what to expect. But again, we can't really hold that to anyone until um, the developers themselves come out and say, hey, this is when the global release will be coming. Get excited that's basically where we're at is that okay so this is the tribe now this i would assume would be exactly like how you would acquire new rings and everything else in between we've got a little trader fella up here as well so ooh, we've got a few things here so we can trade awesome so that's actually really good so i've got a few of these gorilla fangs i can trade for some rough leather the jute this is where i can start selling all of these things that I, I was picking up before that's awesome we've got a few of these these things i probably wouldn't focus on too much possibly because you can get them quite well maybe the bronze you probably want to sort of consider the rough leather i find that i go through like crazy and if i were to sort of purchase some of these things i would probably purchase the rough leather for that the sturdy leather may be the same situation for me um cloth i'm okay with uh probably the cotton cloth i don't think i probably really would worry about that, that too much but anyway in any way shape or form at least we know we've got an avenue if you pick these things up you know exactly where to spend them on and at the moment i don't think they're used for anything else i don't think the, tr the standard trader themselves accepts these that i've seen so at least this way if you pick them up you know exactly where to um sell them to i guess and then we've got a little chest key over here let's have a quick squeeze oh what do i got here earring of the apprentice spirit plus one defense plus one damage plus one okay so i'm guessing if i were to oh damage plus one that's one defense no nah, i want spirit okay so i've got one one at one over one spirit which obviously i haven't been investing my, my time and effort into unfortunately it is what it is um but yeah that's pretty much where that's at and we can see this fella here we can speak if you need earrings speak to tito so let's speak to tito what if it happens if i do that okay so if i place two more earrings i can create a plus two earrings so if i were to grab all of those because these are pretty basic what would I want more? I think I probably want more damage and I give up the other two. So let's go ahead and do that. So we want damage, let's do that. And that's gonna give me a plus two. And that's done. So let's bring that back 
and we've got attack speed plus two. Well, that's changed. I didn't expect that. But you know what? Plus two ex attack speed? I have got no issues in either because what I'm focusing on is my damage and my attack speed for the most part. Once I get my attack speed over, say, 125 for a lot of the weapons and more importantly, the guns, that's where I'm sort of looking to um, sort of try and capitalize on and then I can start reinvesting in. Whoop, don't do that. I want you to open this. This is where I want you to focus on. Oh, I should have possibly. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You got a couple more of these fellows here, which is all well and good. You know what? I think I might leave them here for today because I can come back to these things at any time. This area and site should not reset whatsoever. Okay, so beware you alien. <laughs> this fella. Alrighty, cool. So that's that. Okay, so that's the tribal place. Not a lot else going on there, but if you guys do the Temple of Trials, then you can take some of those rings and assets back and then you can create something a little bit nicer. Looks like it's a game of chance as well, pretty much like, um, like they had it in Westland, so all good with that. I want to head up here because I want to try and get enough sandstone as possible. Don't want to go up there. These are all four skull zones, so they are as hard as each other. Obviously, I've never been down this way, so I haven't seen any other gameplay regarding the northern zones. So, at least now I get to show you guys, and I'll probably show you guys in the, uh, the next couple of videos as well what this is all about but what I wanted to do is I just wanted to come in here very cheekily and just grab as much sandstone as possible and at least this way I've gotten some more resources that I can use to upgrade my workstations that's the only reason why I wanted to come here today while I was already in the area kind of thing so but for me I kind of try and do what I'm doing now is I just stick to the edges and anything that I on the easier part, the easier accessibility things, or side of things, I will try and take as much as possible. And this is to my advantage. I'm sure you guys would do this too. If you guys aren't doing this, this would probably be, would be the suggestion I would make to, um, for, for you guys. Ooh, we've already got a Komodo Dragon. Look at you, 305. And that's just standard. That's just a standard runner that comes in. And you, you didn't drop anything. Well, that's a pain. So let's uh, quickly take the walnut. We get three walnut logs here. Okay, so there's the dead island in the standard zone area. You only get two each time you hit. Sandstone, you always got three, which was fine. Oh, ooh, we got an anti, or antel. Don't know who you are, but let's just, you hit really quickly, don't you, buddy? You only drop charcoal. Wow, okay, so being that you're coming into the to this zone it doesn't stop the enemies flooding in and especially if you're not engaging i'm guessing that's probably the reason for that oh no 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 okay all right come on all right cool and you got some nice leather for me now i know there's other um materials in game uh i think mahogany and fine leather which oh jesus Wow, this buddy, this fella, what are you doing? Well, I've got to be careful. I have to be careful. Holy moly. Okay, this is not good. Um, all right, let's just wanted to take the alcohol. That's all I wanted to do. But you got to be very, very careful up here. So as much as it, it's easy to come by some resources you just got to be very very careful before you get yourself killed all right so what was i saying i can't even remember now <laughs> oh my goodness but these guys these guys are absolutely relentless but yeah sorry um mahogany and i believe it was um fine leather or something or other so they're the ones they're the items that are not in game that i can see just yet otherwise we would have been able to um possibly see them in here maybe I'm not too sure about that uh, what did you drop you know I dropped basic meat wow 
Okay. Just want to see what else I can sort of get my hands on here. But that's pretty much it, guys. And look, I think we've got some tin just there as well, which I can't get my hands on at the moment because I'm out of storage and I know I am as well. That looks like that's coal. I just want to try and get enough sandstone so I can get out of here and I can just sort of go back home and just craft them up. That's what I want to achieve. Yeah, so you can actually get a decent amount here, which is good. Okay. All right, that's really, really good, guys. All right, that, that really, that's really, really good. I just got to be careful now, even though that I've sort of threaded myself into the zone, this is where things can turn for the worst if you're not careful. And you've got to be on guard at all times, especially in these heavy hitting zones. But it looks like we've got gateways in finding, oh, no, 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 no. All right, let's just take you out, buddy because oh geez did a bit of a number on me didn't you can i just take yes okay cool this is probably the last thing i'm going to take and we're going to head out of here for today oh no 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 i did take the sandstone i'm out of here see you buddy <laughs> got out of there just in time all right that's good that's really good i'm pretty happy with that i don't know what i got how much i got oh, okay i didn't get quite the two full stacks that I really wanted. I've got some shale. You know what, I think the shale was probably from the, the rocks that I broke up earlier. That's probably the reason for, for that. But that's cool. I'll take those back anyway, because I, I really don't want to dump any of those. I've got some walnut uh, logs as well, which is all well and good. If I really wanted to get more, I'd be going over here to get more uh, walnut. Um, but otherwise, okay, so the metals are there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, decent zone if you're wanting to get um, some better resources, I guess. That's pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm probably just gonna drift over. It's gonna take me a bit over an hour to get back, but I guess that's not gonna worry me. But guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Slipway, done. North zone, unlocked. Enter the tribal. Islander tree, oh it's a tribe sorry, rocky island, getting some more resources now, advancing in the game, this is where we're at, this is what what I've been wanting to do now, now I've got this I can start accelerating my progression a little bit quicker than what I have been doing before up until now, so let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this one today, drop a like, share the video if you can, guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos anyway guys take it easy and as always i will see you guys next time